We saw a surge in patients coming from Florida, and I think it's because also of what is happening in the states between Florida and here. Florida has the six-week ban. Georgia has a six-week ban. South Carolina has a six-week ban. North Carolina has a 12-week ban. And so it just pushes patients further and further north to receive the care that they need. We had actually seen more patients from Florida in the month of May than we had seen in the prior eight months combined. But of those who are traveling, about 76% of those patients are coming to us from Florida, about 85, 86% are in the first trimester, which means that these are folks who would have been able to access care in their home state had this ban not been passed, but now they're having to travel to us. Since Florida was a place that folks used to travel to for care, to lose that access in that region really was a huge blow to the patients. I would be completely incorrect if I were to say that there are those who are not thinking about the potential risks, about what may be coming down the pike in, in terms of laws or in, in terms of possible consequences for accommodating patients who are traveling from out of state. I think for the vast majority of us though, we are just really focused on trying to take care of as many patients as we can.